class champion. Like, let's just talk about what this moment means for you. I mean, it means everything. Like, I deserve it. I work hard for this. And, you know, I did it. So, hey. <laughs> I love that for you. So just talk about the. It was, it was somebody fell. It was it was a tough. It was a tough one out there. So just talk about how you held your composure. It was chaos, but <laughs> I was so happy they put me in lane three because I'm out of the way. Yeah. Just focus on my lane. Focus on get to the finish line. And whatever everybody else does, hey, it is what it is. Once we cross the finish line, I'm like, it was me. Yeah. It's me. Finish this sentence for me. I just realized that it's over <laughs> and I get to have a break. Yeah. I'm lit. <laughs> I love it. Congratulations, sis. Thank you. Alicia, to that point, I mean, the consistency, this, you know, whether you're on this continent or any other content, has just been ridiculous. I mean, this, I think, is 11 times now under uh, under eight, and like, <laughs> you know, another five under seven, nine. Like, how happy have you been with the consistency? Honestly, I've been ecstatic with the consistency because before coming to my new coach, I didn't have that in college. So it was like, you didn't know what lay you were getting any given day, but now it's like, I'm just a straight competitor. Like I just go out there and I compete. And being overseas taught me so much because the girls, they're popping out seven eights in the prelims. So it's like being able to hold your composure and being able to trust in, you, in your process and whatever you've been doing and execute. That's just been amazing. So I didn't, I had so much confidence going into the final. Like I always run seven nine in the prelims. I always double back with a seven eight. Hope y'all can match that today. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I, I mean, just in, uh, in, in terms of getting in that level of competition, right? Not to say that you that you couldn't find it in an American traffic event or whatever, but it was like every other day or every third day, right? Whether you're in France or Germany or Czech or whatever, like that. Like, how valuable was it just to be consistently tested over and over and over again over like three, you know two and a half weeks? Yeah, it was crazy because there was no Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It was like either we're doing three meet, we're doing a practice or a racing, and um, I was training group, so everyone else was doing like short pre meets and stuff, and I was doing like 150, 120, 80, like, so I just had to really, really be able to, like I said, get on the line and just be like, hey, I'm just as competitive as anybody else, and even though I'm not peaking for this season, it's not about peaking, it's about being able to compete with anybody else that's on the line, so, and the girls overseas, they were just going crazy, like, that's the top of the top, the cream of the crop over there for the for the 60 hurdles, so, I was just happy, and it, it made me trust my decisions, and, because I didn't have a coach or an agent over there, so, trust my decisions with, like, warm-up and stuff like that, and just get it done. Last summer you talked about not being sponsored, still not sponsored here. Have you been able to have conversations with brands or what have they been saying to you? Because you're winning, so <laughs> you think. Honestly, like you never know what's happening on the other end of the line. Um, I told my agent that I want to be disconnected from those conversations. Come to me when there's something, you know, designed because there were a lot of points where I, we would have like conversations where, oh, this person interested, this person interested, and nothing would ever happen. And so it was like a up and down emotional roller coaster. So I don't want to put myself through that this year. I think that weighed heavy on my heart last year, um, going into USA's and World Championships, and I don't want to make the same mistakes. So regardless, you know, I just play my cards and I just go out there and do what I can do. I can't control those situations. Um, but hopefully in, in the near future, I'll be able to represent somebody and be able to put their name across the finish line. So. Well, best of luck. Thank you. Thanks.